Okay, so um, yesterday I got the DJI, DJI Insta360 X4. It's not this one, it's uh, this one. So um, I got the Insta360 uh, X4 and this is the X3. So in this video, I'll uh, try to make, uh, because like house virtual house walkthroughs are pretty cool, right? So uh, I wanted to test uh, the X4 and then I'll use the X3 to make a like 3D image of this room and the room next door. The one thing you need to notice here is that I don't have any lamps in the ceiling. We have like somewhat uh, natural light inside here. So you can see the DJI is doing probably, I hope, okay uh, with the sensor. So that's the key thing with these cameras is that the X3 and the X4 has the same sensor size. And I would have loved that they would have put a, a bigger sensor like the one that's in the DJI Pocket 3 uh, camera. So it's not fun only comparing these two. So um, I have another thing that I'm going to use to take the images. So uh, I have a, another drone here and uh, I, I might bring a, a, another, I have another drone in my car, a big one. So I might bring that one inside here and then I'll take the 3D photos with the drones too. So we can compare the drones, maybe the Pocket 3, but it can only do panorama. So that means 180. And uh, then we compare it to the X3 and see like which one is, is the, the one we would prefer if we were going to do these uh, house tours. Just as a comparison to see like how does the X4 actually perform on a day where we have no lamps, but the light on the Pocket 3 is pretty good. Anyways, I'll uh, get started and set the stuff up. I took the four images I took from the two drones and from the X3 and X4 and then I put them into the app that calls Insta360 Insta Studio. So I have them over here so that's the four uh, different images. So uh, I tried zooming in on my beautiful face to see like how was the images I would take from each one. But before that I'll, if you're new to 360 video I'll just show you what it's all about. So this is the, the, the one from the new X4. So the 360 image just means that we have the camera that's standing in the middle of the image here. And then it deletes, the, it removes the selfie stick. That's why the selfie stick is called like an invisible selfie stick. And then what we can do here is that then, because it, it's a 360 camera, then we can turn the camera angle so we can look at the, the ceiling. You can zoom in a little bit and look at the beautiful ceiling here. Um, and uh, we can like look in all directions here. So the thing I was looking at is like, so, so how does it perform when we start like zooming in and how does it look? So I think, I think the image is okay. So if we we're doing a virtual tour and that would be like an arrow, go to the next room. I think, uh, I think the X4 did a, a pretty good job. Uh, the thing is that if we zoom in on the faces, so we like get in a little bit close, then you can see my face doesn't look that nice. Or maybe it's better. I don't know if it's better when it looks like this. So if we compare this image to the X3, so I have the X3 here. It's unfortunately in HDR, so it's cheating a little bit, uh, but this is the X3. So you see that I actually think the X3 did a better job than the X4 in this scenario. And if we try zooming out, then it depends on how you look at it. The thing was that the other image that was like not HDR was like uh, like screwed up. So this is, it has played a little bit with the lights here. But I think I think the I think the X4 in general did a better job than the X3. But when we zoom in, 
than the X3. Like it looks better with the face, but I still think there's like a little bit of distortion in the background. I'll try to put a few comparison images at the end. So we put them side by side, all four, so you can like judge. But I think like the X3 did okay. I do like the, the 360 image more of the X4. I can ask the wife what she thinks. What do you think? Like, I think the picture-wise, is X4 is better. But com when it comes to light, I think X3 uh, has maybe a little bit better sensor than X4 when it comes to the darker part in the room. Yeah. Especially, like, for your face, right? The detail on your face. Yeah. So, like, but it's just strange because it's the same sensor. So, mm -hmm. like... That's a little bit weird. If we then look at uh, the DJI, uh, the drone, the Mini 4, then you see my face looks a lot better with uh, the drone than with uh, both of the both the X3 and X4. So the the DJI Mini Pro drone did a much better job of like taking a picture of my face. It did a better job of the mirror too. So like if we go back here and look at this one with the mirror, so you see the mirror is here, and then, uh, oops, I have this one with the mirror. So the mirror is much, much better uh, with the, um, the drone, mini drone. Um, so that's like an interesting point. I think I'll make a comparison again in the end with these four shots next to each other, so you can compare uh, those and see like what you think. Um, if we look at the Mini Pro, then the Mini Pro has some distortion. So you see the, the invisible selfie stick is like cut, so it's cut here. And like the ceiling is cut here too. And like there's some distortion. So unfortunately the, the stitching of the images is not, is not that good inside this app at least. Um, I'll check and see how it looks when we, we put it on Facebook, if it has the same kind of uh, distortion at the end. But I think uh, the Mini Pro uh, took better images. And you can zoom in a lot more, unfortunately, uh, with the Mini Pro. Um, but again, like if you compare, then like the details are, are better, right? Oops, better get away from that. Um, so, but I do think like the, the four did a better job, but this one like detail wise, when we zoom in, um, the mini uh, did a better job than both the X3 and the X4. Then we have the very expensive drone here. And then you see my, I turned evil with red eyes. I'm not sure why that is. Uh, when we look at the mirror, it's somewhat the same as the X3 and the X4. Uh, when we go out, we see the distortions again in the image inside. Uh, this one, not sure if it's like that in the, you see the heating is like weird. Um, not sure if it's like that if I put it inside uh, Facebook. I'll just check that before and like after we look at the, the com comparison images uh, next to each other. Um, yeah, so I'll, now I'll just take the, the four like a few different shots of the from the different cameras and put them next to each other where they are like a little bit zoomed in and then you can judge like what do you think about the, the quality of the different images. Done editing most of the stuff. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So uh, conclusion wise is that if we want to make a walkthrough, then when I compare the X4 with the X3, I would say there's no difference. So like, don't buy the X4 if you have an X3. Don't buy an X3 if you don't have an X3, then buy an X4 because like 8K is cooler than uh, 
4K, but if you're going to use it for like walkthroughs and houses and doing the 360 images for Facebook where you can't zoom in. So that's another thing. When we post these images on Facebook, you can't zoom in. So then it doesn't matter. Then there's no difference. So if you're using it for social media, like people can't see what you're doing anyway. So it doesn't matter if you are <laughs> if you can zoom more in, right? Like there's no difference. Uh, then you can just keep using the, the old one. It's the same thing if you mostly post on social media, the quality will be lowered and then it doesn't matter Then you can even record in 8K. But I'll cover that in another video and compare it with uh, the drones. So the drones did take uh, better uh, photo. So when we zoom in, the quality of the images were much better with the, the drones. Uh, there was uh, some distortions in, in the images. But I think like if I wanted to use this as uh, for a house inspection, so that means I have tenants and then they move into a house and I want to document the house, like how did it look when the tenants move in? Then I would not use the X3 or X4. Then I would actually either use a normal camera, but I think actually that that's where the, the Mini 4 Pro is better because it's easier. It's a lot easier for me to do the images there because I don't care how it stitches the images together because I still have all the, the individual images of every single part of the room. So then I can go back and I can pick out the individual images and then I can say, oh, this is the thing we're looking at. So it's more like when the tenant move, are there any damages to the, pro, uh, to the, to the house? Then it's much better to actually take the images with the drone. It's the same like if you have an Airbnb and like you're crazy and you want to take images before and after each guest leaves, then use, use the drone because you get much more detailed images than you would get with the X4 and X3. But if we want a 360 images image for Facebook or social media or something, then don't use the drone because the images are uh, distorted. So I hope that makes sense. So 360 images, like you don't need the X4. If you have the X3, then for that, it's okay. Uh, and again, in one of the next videos, we'll look at um, how does it perform video-wise. If you want to see the video where I first uh, <laughs> unboxed the, the drone and kind of got a little drone the camera and it got upset there's a link to that video up there bye